image, shared to Twitter on Mr. Tyndall's Celebrity Classics page, shows the ex-England centre sporting some rather questionable pink-patterned Bermuda shorts while in full golfing attire, including a glove and a hat. In contrast, Princess Anne's Olympic silver medalist daughter was rocking a much more casual look, with white trainers, blue jeans and a dark blue jacket. The image shows Mr. Tyndall, who tied the knot with Zara in 2011, land a kiss on his wife's head. Zara, who has now had three children with the 75-time capped international, is also seen beaming with delight when the photo was snapped. This year's golfing tournament was held at the Belfry Hotel and Resort in Sutton Coldfield and was organized to raise money for two charities. The first is the Matt Hampson Foundation. Matt Hampson, 36, was left paralyzed from the neck down after he was involved in an accident at training with the England Under-21 squad in 2005. He established the charity in 2011 to help others who have suffered catastrophic injuries through sport. The second charity, the Cure Parkinson's Trust, is very close to Mr. Tyndall's heart as his father was diagnosed with the disease in 2003. Mike Tyndall, who played in Sir Clive Woodward's World Cup winning England side in 2003, recently explained that it has been a tough five years for the family. I would say he's had a really sort of tough five years, maybe even longer actually, he said. It's our 10-year wedding anniversary and it was that year that, through his Parkinson's, his spine in his back is obviously curved, and then it caused problems with his discs and then he had to have a wheelchair at the wedding. He could walk some bits of it. According to Mr. Tyndall's golfing Twitter account, the event raised £190,000. The ex-Gloucester player, who lives just 14 miles away from the Cherry and White's home ground King's home, went on to offer his thanks to all the support he has received. Thanks so much for everyone who supported the day. It means a lot to us all.